The stance is the first step for each shot and forms the basic alignment for your shooting performance. The key checkpoints for stance are alignment, a 50-50 balance of weight, relaxation and stability. Your stance is a key foundation to your shot. Taking time to find the option that works for you is critical. Let's look at three stance options. Square, open and closed. We'll focus on the square stance first. This option is the most natural and easiest to replicate consistently, making it ideal for archers at all levels. Both feet are placed parallel to the shooting line with an even balance of weight on both feet. The body weight distribution, left and right, is ideally split 50-50. This effective stance allows her to be relaxed, which is important for achieving her best shot. Posture should also be vertical with shoulders above hips and hips above feet. To achieve correct posture requires fitness across the whole body, including the legs, abdomen and upper body. Here we can see Charlotte who shoots left-handed demonstrating the same key concepts as Alison. Her feet are parallel to the shooting line and her posture is vertical and balanced over her feet. Side by side you can see how both Charlotte on the left and Alison on the right apply the same principles. The open stance provides archers with an increased sensation of their back and shoulder muscles but requires more practice to replicate than a square stance. The open stance places the feet at an angle to the target opening the hips and shoulders towards the target. An even balance of weight on both feet is required and a stable vertical posture. This effective stance allows her to be relaxed, which is important for achieving her best shot. The vertical posture places the shoulders above the hips and the hips above the feet. The hip line must be parallel to the feet line and therefore at an angle to the target. As seen in this clip, the hips should not be allowed to twist around towards the target. The relationship between feet, hips and direction of shooting is best seen from above. The red line indicates the open position of the feet. The green line indicates the open position of the hips parallel to the line of the feet. The orange arrow indicates the direction of shooting towards the target. Here we can see Charlotte who shoots left-handed demonstrating the open stance. Side by side you can see how both Charlotte on the left and Alison on the right apply the same principles. Finally, let's look at the closed stance. This stance helps to position the shoulders into the preferred alignment, but can cause the bowstring to contact the body at full draw and be deflected on release. The feet are positioned to close the hips and shoulders, the foot nearest the target moves forwards, and the foot furthest away from the target moves backwards. An even balance of weight on both feet is required and a stable vertical posture. This effective stance allows relaxation throughout the body. The vertical posture places the shoulders above the hips and the hips above the feet. The hips should follow the line of the feet. The red line indicates the closed position of the feet. The green line indicates the closed position of the hips parallel to the line of the feet. The orange arrow indicates the direction of shooting towards the target. Here we can see Charlotte who shoots left-handed demonstrating the closed stance. 
side by side, you can see how both Charlotte on the left and Alison on the right apply the same principles. Leaning away from the target negatively affects the stance. The shoulders do not sit above the hips and the feet. The 50-50 balance is lost, the stance isn't stable or steady and the body becomes tense. Moving forward destroys the balance, leading to a lack of stability. As does leaning forward. The clip on the left shows a good stance and posture compared to leaning forward on the right. Taking the time to find the right stance option for you is critical. Your whole shot is dependent on your stance and posture.